Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. Last week I have posted a homework problem on our on my blog. It was about a certain donation scenario. An organization has uh, a non-profit organization has some donors about 1200 donors the data is given here and each of these donors pledge certain amount at the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year they donate some donate the amount so what we have now is we have the data for all these donors 1200 donors and their amount pledged and amount given and at the end of the year we would like to do a donation summary you know we want to find out how many donors exceeded the pledged amount how many of them met their pledges how many of them uh, underpaid and still gave how many of them did not give anything at all and how many donors who gave us some money but did not pledge anything and things like that so basically we have to calculate all these blue box values so that was the homework and quite a few of you told me that it was an interesting problem and you had a really uh, nice time solving it then some of you also emailed and told me that uh, Chendu this was good but we were not able to solve this or even though we could solve it we still had no clue how the answers are coming up. Of course that's because I also posted the solution file so some of you checked with that and tried to you know rewrite the same formulas and change the values to see how it works. But then uh, in this video what we will do is I will explain to you how we can calculate these summaries. I will show the answers for some of the cells i think once you get a hang of the formulas we are using here it will be easier so essentially uh, the, this problem can be broken into two parts one is the counts part and then another is the amount part right here we just want the number of donors who exceeded the amount they have pledged that means we have amount pledged column here and you can see there are 1200 values I go to the first cell and press control down arrow it takes me to the last cell in that column and you can see that it is DNR 1200 so donor number 1200 and each of these donors pledged amounts is here so you can see and now what we want to do is for this first cell we need to calculate amount given greater than amount pledged that is this guy pledged 241 and he gave 461 so he's exceeded uh, whatever he has pledged and we want to calculate all such counts now we know that there are certain formulas for example there is a formula called count if and I can give the criteria for example I can say that count all the values uh, in C7 to C1206 such that the value is greater than 200 Right? If I write it like that, I would find out that there are 939 values that are more than 200 in the amount pledged. Okay. Similarly, we could also write, you know, count if uh, this entire range and then uh, you can select any cell. For example, you can select this cell D9. What it means is how many values in this range match the value that is in D9. We could go one step further and probably put this sign here and concatenate it to that value meaning that how many values inside C7 to C1206 are greater than the value in D9 and we would know that there are 632 people who have pledged more than 449. But neither of this is giving us the right answer. What we need here is how many cells have values such that this value is more than that value oh, sorry this value is more than that value right to make our uh, formula simpler what I'm going to do is the first thing I will do is define some named ranges so I'm going to select this first cell press ctrl shift down arrow so all the 1200 cells are selected and then here I'm going to call this as LST pledge right you can use this corner here uh, to quickly define a name and then do the same for the other one and then call this as LST given right so instead of using this lengthy cell reference I could just write LST pledged greater than D9 and it still works LST pledged you could change this from LST pledged to LST given 
and it would tell me how many people have given more than two hundred dollars. Anyway, coming back here, the problem is we need to find out how many scenarios are there where LST given is greater than LST pledged, isn't it? Right. So pledge has to be more than uh, sorry less than given. That's the of course if I just write that condition it gives some garbage to me because here we have two ranges of values not just two numbers so if I write the condition 5 greater than 4 uh, inside a formula I sorry for that uh, 5 greater than 4 inside a formula it will be true right 5 is greater than 4 but if I have three numbers 1 2 3 and then three more numbers 0 0 9 and I ask Excel hey can you tell me if this thing is greater than that thing it throws up as an error of course in this case it should have been error it should have been an error but because of the name and ranges and all that it just gives me the condition for the first value or some random value it doesn't really matter still it is not correct but if I select that same thing and press Control shift enter right because these two are a list of numbers in a way they they both of them are arrays so if the formula here becomes an array formula we are asking Excel to check M1 to M11 to M13 against L7 L11 to L13 and when I am pressing Control shift enter I get the value false but what does false really mean it doesn't make any sense so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole thing and then press F9 to just see what the result no it's not treating that as a formula so it just doesn't uh, work out but if I put this inside a formula like you know sum or something like that probably we will know the result things uh, I think the F9 key is not working it might be because my recording software is also mapped to the F9 key but I can select that portion go to formula okay so we can see the independent results through evaluate formula in the formula ribbon if I go select that formula go to formula ribbon and select evaluate formula and then you can see sum of M11 to M13 greater than L11 to L13 and I click this evaluate button only the inside portion will be evaluated now and you can see false false true so this is not greater than 1 this is not greater than 1 2 this is certainly greater than 3 so it's false false true first two conditions are false the third one being true and since we are just adding up a bunch of boolean numbers Excel doesn't know what to say it just gives me 0 but now the interesting part I could write sum of LST given is greater than LST pledged and press Control shift enter and what do we get here a simple hyphen that means the value is 0 but that shouldn't be the case we know for sure that there are a couple of people who exceeded the amount they have pledged at least these first three guys are so there is something wrong with this formula the, the reason is that this condition while it is valid it is incorrect because it is giving me a boolean result false true false true like that and some formula can only work on numbers not on you know this boolean logical values so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat Excel by asking Excel to convert these false and trues to zeros and ones there are various ways to do this the simplest way is to uh, use two minus signs in front of the whole thing when I'm putting a minus sign Excel will try to convert a value to the negative of it so 1 becomes minus 1 0 becomes 0 since true and false are boolean values and when I'm putting minus Excel will forcefully convert the boolean values the logical values to uh, numbers and then convert them to negative so the truths will become minus 1 and false becomes since false is 0 it, it will be 0 but we don't want to count the negative values right we want to count the positive value so we are putting two minus signs so again it kind of negates the negation effect and you get the value and when you press Control shift enter you get to see that the people who have given 
something more than they have pledged is 737. How many people have met their uh, pledges? That would be sum of LST given equal to LST pledged, right? Again, the same problem, right? It won't give the answer unless I forcefully convert this to 74. But there might be a little problem, right? There are 74 people who have met their pledges. But how many of them have actually given? You know, some of them might have pledged zero and gave zero. That's not really useful for us. They did not give anything. So we need not just this condition. We also want one more condition that is LST given has to be greater than zero. So I'm going to multiply that with LST given greater than zero. And that would be 56. Hey, now we have done something interesting, right? We have not only taken one condition in array, but another condition in array and multiplied both. Since both of them are in logical or Boolean values, when you multiply Excel will forcefully convert them to numbers. So there is no need for this double minus sign anymore. So I can remove that, press Control Shift Enter and the value will be 56. Some of you might be wondering how the heck this thing is working. So to ex uh, demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is, I wanted to uh, elaborate our little list here. One, two, three, five, seven, one, three. And I want to count how many values are there such that maybe this can be six and this can be zero, two, to add a little variety, right? Okay. I want to count all the values in both lists such that the condition here is that list two has to be more than list one, right? List two has to be more than list one, or maybe list one has to be uh, equal to list two or something like that, but they cannot be zero. In this case, this is too small a list, so we cannot really see that in demo. Maybe I will just write some new numbers here. One, two, three, zero, zero, two. And then I put some random numbers here. Okay, two lists are there and we wanted to count how many of them have, this is pledged and this is given and we want to count how many of them have met their pledges. So the condition could be something like this. I add this whole thing equal to this whole thing, sorry for that. And it says three, three of them have made, made their pledges. Here is two, here is three, and here is zero. But this zero, zero is invalid. They did not give us anything, even though they made their pledge. Uh, but the pledge itself was, I'm not going to give anything. That's not a valid count. So we need to actually include one more condition, which was, sorry for that. This amount itself is greater than zero and then close it and now we get the value 2 and let us examine these internal things by selecting 